Hi, this is Stephanie. I just want to show you a couple of photo techniques in PowerPoint that uh, you can use to punch up your e-learning photos or your personal photos. The first one is a largely black and white background with one area of the photo punched out in full color. And the second is a manipulation of the color of the background of a photograph while at the same time having one object in that photo punch out a little bit more than the others. So let's take a look at the techniques I use to create these uh, effects. The first one is the cafe scene and I just chose insert picture and I brought in a photograph. When I brought that photograph in I then subsequently chose the recolor menu and colored it to grayscale. The original photograph, if I just hover over no color, looked like this. It was full color. So I just changed it to be grayscale. The second step was I went to the drawing tools and I chose a freeform drawing shape. And I uh, used this tool to be able to not only outline the object in the photograph that I wanted to punch out from the other objects, but also to uh, grab the entire background of the photograph too. And as I did this, um, I wasn't really too concerned about being precise because PowerPoint has the ability to allow you to edit each one of the points that you're creating um, after the fact using the edit points feature. So I've outlined the object, now I'm grabbing the background and I'm coming right back to the beginning point and when I, when I click on the beginning point it colorizes the background just a solid fill blue. Now you can see that this creates almost a green screen like effect where you could conceivably fill that freeform shape up with any other image at all, at, that you want and that's going to really manipulate the picture. That's not, not we're, what we're going to do here today. All I'd like to do is have the background come back through but in a different color. So to achieve that effect, I just right click on the freeform object, choose format shape, and then choose the fill option, gradient fill, and you can see right away that that effect has been applied, and that's because I've done it before. Let's step through what I did. I chose the preset colors of rainbow 2, and you can see it comes in very bright, and that creates its own unique effect. I chose linear, but I could have chosen radial or, or any other variation. I chose a direction of uh, diagonal, but I could go vertical or, again, any other direction as well. The key here is working with the gradient stops. Each one of these stops uh, needs its transparency set to a higher level. So in this case, I'm using 70%, which is bringing through um, the background and reducing the color, the intensity of the color, quite a bit while it's doing it. But the color shift is still apparent, uh, visibly apparent, and that's the effect I wanted to create. So right there. Now when I drew the freeform shape, uh, it also created an outline, of which I don't want for this photo. So I go to line color and just say no line, and there you go. There's the effect. Now again, you could get quite a bit more precise. You could see that when I did the outline, part of the hair on the individual hasn't been included. So I could double click on that object, the freeform object, choose edit shape, edit points, and I could drag those points around a little bit and get a bit more precise and in uh, including a bit more of the hair on the individual and then double click out and there you go. You might want to zoom up when you're doing that if you really want to get precise, but that's the effect. The second effect is that uh, punching out uh, one area in full color. This won't be as precise, but close enough. So I brought in two images, uh, two copies of the same image and I recolored one to be black and white and left the other as original. The flowers are the area that I want punched out and it almost looks like a triangle shape. So I'm going to double click on the image, choose picture shape, and change the shape of the picture to be a triangle. Now if I were just to overlay that on top right now, it would be a very harsh uh, separation between the black and white and the color. So instead, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go up to picture effects and soften the edges. Probably to five point will work nicely and it'll soften it down quite a bit. Now if I click on both images, shift click, and then just choose a line center and then align middle. And that will um, put the two on top of each other and create the effect. So you know that some of the river is colorized here, not just the flowers, but at first glance you don't pick up on that. So it's a very easy effect to create in PowerPoint. You can, in PowerPoint, get a little bit more precise. You can use the freeform tool, you can do a very precise outline and fill that with the flowers and then put it over top of the image and that creates um, a more precise uh, look. But, you know, the other technique that I'd use is simple and a little easier and at first glance does the trick. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.